This week's top stories. Reclaim the streets. Are evening networking events inclusive? In the wake of hashtag Reclaim the Streets protests across the country at the weekend, women are calling into question the inclusivity of evening events for networking and career progression. The tragic news about Sarah Everard has sparked righteous anger from many women who simply want to feel safe, wrote Kathleen Fontana, President of Bricks and Managing Director of Mighty Projects. Until the time that it's really safe to walk the streets after dark, all leaders need to step up to ensure after work events are inclusive and safe. UK's first Commercial Tenants Association launches. A body to provide support and fight for more rights, protection and fairness on behalf of commercial property occupiers has launched. The Commercial Tenants Association will provide its members with access to all the advice and training they need, as well as a team of carefully selected legal and industry experts who will assist members with their tenancy issues. Are alcohol-free hand sanitizers effective? Many have been led to believe that hand sanitizing solutions with high alcohol content are the safest method of stopping COVID-19 transmission, but what about the alcohol-free counterparts? According to a study by Rubbermaid Commercial Products, 75% of people want the security of alcohol-based hand sanitizer, but at the moment there is no published proof that alcohol gels kill COVID-19 itself. What is driving this demand for alcohol-free alternatives on the market then, and are they as effective? For all the latest facilities and workplace management news, read more at twinfm.com.